Hello whale nerds! As you may or may not know, I have a shop on Etsy where I sell some of my shrink plastic artwork slash jewelry and I've been asked a couple times how I make them or if I could do a tutorial so I am making a tutorial today. There are a couple different types of shrink plastic and a couple different ways you can make them. Today I will be showing you how to make the hand colored kind using colored pencils. So yeah! Materials you will need will be an image, keep in mind the finished result will be one third the size and the mirror image of your original drawing. Shrink plastic, make sure it's the frosted rough and ready kind. Colored pencils, the softer the better. A sharpie fine tip to do outlining. Scissors and a hole punch. Place your image on a flat surface and take one sheet of the shrink plastic with the shiny side facing down and the rough side facing up. Take your sharpie and trace the outline of your image on the shrink plastic. Next, use your colored pencils to color in your image. I like to use a couple different tones, but it's really up to your preference. Once it's done, it'll look a bit like this. It's a little translucent, but the colors will condense once we bake it and the charm itself shrinks. Use your scissors to cut the charm off the sheet. Be careful because it is pretty easy to crack it. If you want to make your charm into a necklace, you can use the hole punch to poke a hole at the top. Now that we've finished creating the charm, it's time to bake. Place your charm on a cookie sheet lined with foil and have the shiny side facing up and the colored side facing down. Put it in the oven preheated to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Let it bake for 2-3 to three minutes until it is completely shrunk. And immediately after you take it out of the oven, use a glass or spatula with a perfectly flat bottom and gently place it on top. At this point you can see how much smaller it's gotten. Let it cool off for a couple minutes so you don't burn yourself when you're taking it off the pan. Once it's cooled down, the last step we have is to seal the colored side. To do this, I'm going to take some Mod Podge and a kid's craft brush and just spread a little bit of the Mod Podge on the colored side. This helps it so the colored pencil doesn't rub off and get on your clothes or whatever you're wearing. It should take a couple minutes to dry. It dries pretty quickly. So now the Tilikum charm is finished, the fixative on the back is nice and dry, and you can leave the charm like this if you want, but I prefer to put a glaze on the front side, um, just so it makes it more durable and it kind of looks more pretty that way. There are a couple options you can use for glazing, um, these are the two things that I use. This I use for quick projects, it's dimensional glue and it dries pretty quickly, it's super easy to use, but it doesn't give as nice as a finish as resin does. Resin is definitely a lot more labor intensive, but it does give a nicer and more durable finish. For using it on charms, definitely pick one that is made for pouring and being a coating rather than a kind that is made for casting. Um, I use Envirotex Lite, which is pretty easy to find at craft stores here in the US. If you would like to see a tutorial on glazing charms, feel free to let me know and I can try and do that. And I have a couple examples here of the different finishes. I don't know if it's that easy to tell on camera, but let's see. This charm I used the dimensional glue on. It is pretty shiny, but dimensional glue does have a tendency to crack if it's too hot or too cold while it's drying, so it's kind of not, I don't know. This charm I used resin on. It is quite glossy as well. Um, I think it is thicker and a bit more durable, less easy to scratch than the dimensional glue finish. Both materials give it a pretty glossy similar finish, so you can use whichever one you prefer. That is pretty much what I have for this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and yeah, thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.